Closed captioning for The Casey Malone Show is sponsored by Hunter Stevens Land Title Agency. Integrity, service, and commitment you can trust. Oh, yeah. Casey Malone is serving up local. It's time for the stories of our region, the tastes, the sights, the sounds, and the people in and around the valley. Get ready for some local flavor on The Casey Malone Show. Today, we catch up with Youngstown's human beings. Still rocking. And I prepare pumpkin cheesecake thumbprint cookies with Beth Keating. But first, Yellow Brick Place. There's no place like hope. We are at Yellow Brick Place, and the president of the board is Carol Appenis. And you are open for business by appointment only, keeping things safe. And, you know, my friend Beth works here, and I've just heard so much about the good that is done here. I am really happy that we are able to visit and uh, share what happens here. Well, thank you, know, you. We are very happy to have else. you. I'm excited that you're here with us. You service those undergoing cancer treatment. Correct. In the Tri-County areas, the Columbiana. Mahoning and Trumbull And counts. Trumbull. Mm -hmm. How, you're having a big anniversary coming up. This is our five years. We've been open five years in September. I mean, I didn't realize until I got the tour uh, of all the services that you provide. And a lot of people think it's just for women and breast cancer, but it is really for men, women, children, everyone who is going through cancer treatment. Correct. We serve everybody. The history. This was founded by Donna and Ann. Donna Detweller and Anna A. Um, they were our co-founders. They both had cancer, went to Cleveland for a stem cell replacement. While they were there, they utilized a cancer wellness center in Cleveland called The Gathering Place. Um, came back to the Valley with the dream of bringing that back here. We have wonderful medical treatments in the area, but there's a whole other part to cancer where it affects every part of your life. So the medical treatment was being taken care of wonderfully, and we're here to take care of everything else. When you lose your hair, it's a big part of you. You know, we try to prepare for that, but I remember the morning I woke up and I had a handful of hair come out and I'm there, oh yeah, it's beginning and there's no stopping it. And uh, so to have a wig that you can put on, it just kind of helps your self-esteem and helps you feel a little more like your regular self instead of just your cancer self. The group therapy is available too, isn't it? Where people, you have, you know, groups where people kind of going through the same issues can relate to each other. We and, have three support groups right now. We have prostate, we have a caregivers support group because caregivers go through so much when they're helping somebody go through yeah. cancer. And um, um, we also have a multiple myeloma support group. Um, those are our three. We try not to duplicate services, so there are support groups in the Valley for lots of different cancers. We found a need for these three. We provide those here. We also have licensed counselors that if you need a little um, guidance going through it. How do you raise funds in these times? We, we have survived. Um, our two main fundraisers are our fashion show and then we do a golf outing. And we were able to have both of those just this year exercise programs you have the chair yoga we have the chair yoga which is the yoga that is is geared for people who cannot do a normal exercise program uh, we have a resource library with books for non-medical things so if um, you need to talk to your children about going through cancer we have some books for that well my friend Beth Keating is the wig specialist <laughs> here at Yellow Brick Place this really must be a lot of fun. It when you really pick is. out the wig, man, child, not only, woman. Yeah, not only fun, but very rewarding. It really, truly is. When you see them, you do they usually have their hair, or are they most already women? Born? No, most women come in with maybe the lightening of the hair. They're they're starting to see it come out in a, maybe in a small fashion in the shower or something like that, but mm. the, the actual style is pretty much still there. 
And do you do they usually want to match their current hair, or do some of them just want to go nuts and what? just you know go with that blonde yeah, that they always want to Yeah, that they always want to be. No, most of them stay with their style. They do. And these are free of charge. Yes, they this are. This is part of your part of our mission. grant. And yes, part of the mission. We received the grant, and uh, we were able to uh, restock and just make. A wig bank that wow. really I mean, we found something for everyone. We feel we hope at least. And do you have the children's size? If we don't have them in, we don't have that in stock. But I'm sure you some of our order. and some of them are a petite wig. The way you appear to everyone, you know, really makes it's part of your self confidence. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, they're really this is a great service here. Really, it, it, it has been very, like I say, very rewarding as far as to be able to make someone feel good during their time. That's part of our mission. As a cancer survivor, I, I, I mean, you really fit this role because you've been there, done that, and you know how down you can get. Yes. That's one thing about Yellow Brick Place that um, helps people is when they come in here, most of us have been on the cancer journey. Most of us know that feeling, what it's like to be told you have cancer. We know what that feels like. We know what the fears are. We know what the hopes are. And we know it's good to be with somebody who has gone through it, somebody who is on the other side of it. Hope is a very large part of Yellow Brick Place. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Bernard. I've been giving the people of our valley free advice for over 30 years, and my message has never changed. If you're involved in a car, truck, or motorcycle accident, don't try to handle it yourself. Call a lawyer. A lawyer will be your representative, dealing with doctors, medical insurance, and all the red tape that you may face. Hiring a lawyer doesn't mean you'll end up in court, and remember, there are no upfront fees on personal injury cases. That's good advice. Need a lawyer? Learn more at ElizabethBernardLaw.com. Family owned Mayflower Wilm Insurance Group is your full service independent agency. Our family works with a variety of insurance companies, so you have the best choices for your insurance needs. Let us find the right product at the right price. Personal lines, business, farm, commercial insurance, life insurance. Trust locally owned Mayflower Wilm. You focus on what's important. We'll take care of the details. Mayflower Woolen, close by with three locations to serve you. Woolley Brothers has a great choice of quality cheeses. We use our relationship with Old World Houses to specially select the product and then have it custom cut and packaged by our own local artisans. At Woolley Brothers Market, our family is in the store. Join the Isle and Purple Cat family. Employment opportunities are available. Given is living. Join the Isle and Purple Cat family. Employment opportunities are available at $13 an hour. Given is living. I am here with Rude the Dude from the Magic Tree Pub and Eatery. Whether you're party and holiday style, in person or at home, you've got everybody covered. Yes, we have them covered here. You know, we developed a really good catering menu, half pan, full pans, office parties, uh, family parties, anything off-site that we can handle, but also to in-site. We still have our banquet room, which holds up to about 85 people for buffets, limited menus. Again, office parties, family parties, we can get you covered any way you like. And you know what's really great? Rest assured, Magic Tree Pub and Eatery really takes the sanitation and the social distancing guidelines seriously. So you can trust them. Oh yeah, so you know, we want to thank the community for the support over the last few months in the pandemic and uh, we're looking forward to a new year here. It's going to be a great year. Go to their website or Facebook for the complete menu. Happy Holidays. Selling engagement rings never gets old. 
It's love. It's a huge on taking because they're going to wear that ring probably forever. But if they're not going to wear it forever, they're going to pass it down to somebody. Our rings will hold a lifetime and we want to make sure it does. We stand by every single thing that we sell. I believe I can find the perfect ring. I really try to get them exactly what she would want. And to just be a little part of that is really, it warms your heart inside. Get real, get Kamara. Well, you remember the wig specialist, my girlfriend, Beth Keating, from Yellow Brick Place? Something I didn't mention when we were there was what an incredible baker and cook she is. You really kind. are good. No, really. I mean, it's professional. It is stunningly beautiful, everything you make, and it is delicious. Thank you so much. And you are not a professionally uh, trained baker? No, I am not. Just, I enjoy it. Bev had made these, you know, with the fall upon us. And it is the uh, pumpkin cheesecake thumbprints. Yes. For this recipe, you'll need two and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice, plus more for sprinkling, one teaspoon of baking soda, one half teaspoon of kosher salt, one quarter teaspoon of baking powder, one cup of unsalted butter softened, two thirds cup of packed brown sugar, one third cup of granulated sugar, one large egg, one teaspoon of pure vanilla, and one cup of pumpkin puree. So we'll begin with the dry ingredients. We'll mix these all together, We'll just correct? mix that, yes, in here. So we'll add the pumpkin pie spice. I added a little extra nutmeg. Well, that's a no. Because I'm a fan. And then the baking soda and the baking powder and the salt. Okay. There we go. And we're going to set this aside. We've got the cup of butter in the bowl and we're going to add the granulated sugar and the brown sugar and we are going to beat these until they're fluffy. Okay, well this looks great, nice and creamy. So now, the egg. Oh, add the puree. Tell them about the puree. Yes, too. now we gotta make sure that, you know, when you go to the stores, especially this year, there is like a run on pumpkin. And you want the puree that is unseasoned. Just plain pumpkin. Yeah, not the pine mix. Not the pie mix because you're adding all these flavors. You're adding the, the pie mix and the vanilla and the flavoring and the spices. So you don't really need to do that. Stop yeah, we here. don't want a big flour burst, right? So okay. all the dry ingredients will start at low, huh? Yes. All right, so this comes together really quickly. All right, I think right, that looks perfect. good, don't yep. you? See mm -hmm. how beautiful that is? Looky there. All right, so uh, we'll get the baking sheets. I lined them with parchment, and uh, we are gonna start scooping these down. And don't forget, preheat your oven to 350 degrees. So at 350, we did eight minutes. So we removed them, and now we gotta put the little indent in to um, make our little Vessel. The little well here for your things. And so you just press down in there. Uh huh. Oh, and yeah. they just come right along. I found that using the back of one of the measuring spoons, and then it just depends on how much cream cheese you would like to put well, in. Well, I say the more, the merrier. The merrier. And then we'll put these back in for seven more minutes. And then while they're baking, we are going to make the cream cheese frosting. Two cups of powdered sugar, <laughs> yes. And then four tablespoons of soft butter and four ounces of softened cream cheese. And then I'll put the... And I think that's good. Oh my gosh, look at them. They're beautiful and there's a little bit of a golden crust to them. So we've got to get these suckers cooled. Yeah. So we can, um, look at this. So I found this recipe, I think you're gonna love it. Hot rum coffee. This is enough for four cups. So Bill, you're getting a cup. This is 
two cups of hot coffee, the sugar, the cardamom, and fresh grated nutmeg. I'm gonna put it right in there. And then one half cup, and I kind of put it on the oven a little, scalded it a little, the um, half and half. And then we'll stir that up, okay? Ooh, Jelaine, this is yours. In each cup, they get three tablespoons of a dark or an amber rum. All right, so then, we're gonna put it right there, cause look, oh, I'm spilling it. This picture is not the most perfect picture. So there we go. All right, look at that, perfect for four cups. And then as a little embellishment, we're just gonna grate a little fresh chocolate on them. But look at that, she's a professional. Oh, they look beautiful. They are absolutely beautiful. Let's see, mmm, mmm. They're as good as they look. Thank Honestly. you. They are. Look how easy that mm -hmm. mm, was. Very good. Isn't that very delicious? delicious. See, Bill, you're going to enjoy this. Go to my website, caseymaloneshow.com. The recipe will be here for the um, frosting and the pumpkin cookies, the thumbprints, pumpkin cheesecake cookies, thumbprints, and um, for the rum. They're all going to be there. And Here's Beth, us, and I'm will you come You're back? Better. I'd so love to. Will I'd you love come to. back and make another thing with me? Because she really, really is a great cook. I'd love to. Cheers. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. To own a business where your name's on the window can be pretty cool. That's my family. My name is Danny Catullo, and I'm the owner of Catullo Prime Meats. My grandfather started the business in 1962. I was able to take our old style butcher shop and bring it out to the new age using e-commerce to get our products to more customers. When we started shipping, there was not a ton of information out there. That's where we really worked with FedEx so they could be able to help us with our perishable shipping. We were taking on new purchases that we never had to make before. Boxes, coolers, ice packs, anything that was involved around shipping. So we can no longer do this with the cash that we had on hand. So because of the bump card from American Express and all of its benefits, it was a natural fit to help grow our business. And when someone calls and lets you know that you made their dinner, that's satisfaction that you can't get anywhere else. Here at Creekside Fitness and Health Center, we are focused on you. From cardio and strength equipment to classes and personal training. The health of our members and staff has always been our top priority. Limiting class sizes, social distancing, and frequent cleanings are just a few ways we are making Creekside a safer environment for all. Membership and personal training specials are happening now, so come experience life on the fit side at Creekside, your neighborhood gym. Is it time to update your color style? RNS Paint will assist you with your choice of over 3,400 Benjamin Moore colors. Vibrant, durable, and easy to apply. Be current, be stylish. Shop RNS Paint. My basement was dreadful. Cracked concrete, chipped tiles, it was my dumping ground. Carpet, vinyl, wood don't last. Now I have Pebble Stone, the best basement floor covering, made with natural stone and the strongest man made binder. Pebble Stone evened out my floor. Easy to clean, resists moisture, and withstands flooding. You will love your basement. Call today and receive 65% off and have Pebble Stone installed by the holidays. Ruli Brothers is way ahead of the competition. Check out Ruli Spice World, where you can buy bulk herbs and spices, plus candies, nuts, and fillings for pennies on the dollar. At Ruli Brothers Market, our family is in the store. Nobody But Me. That's the chart-topping song that put Youngstown band The Human Beings on the map. Well, they're still around. Original member Ting Markulin still plays gigs with members of the source. We caught up with them at their practice space in Gerard, and they sound great. Well, it has been 32 years. Really? Since oh. I've seen you last. Wow. Can you believe that? No. 32 years. 
And I was sitting on with Ting Markulin, uh, one of the founding members of the Human Beings Beings. And back in 1988, you came to the radio station when I was working at The Wolf. Yes. And you were promoting Rock City. Yes. You guys had just made that. And that would have been the 20th anniversary of Nobody But Me. 68, 88, and now we're at 2020. Can you believe that? No. And we still look so good, huh? We do? No. <laughs> Speak for yourself. You had told me earlier, you know, it's a song from the Isley Brothers. And you never met them or heard from them. No. I mean, I'm thinking you picked their song and I didn't know if it was like the label or what, what made you pick, you know, that song to cover. It was a, a actual, a kind of a Youngstown standard song. Um, most of the bands played it, uh, you know, in the area, and uh, the older style, like the Eisner Brothers. Yeah. Version. And we kind of decided to make it a little more rock and roll. We were like uh, in the studio, and uh, our producer said, yes, this is the song we're gonna do, after we played it for him. And uh, we're like, why? <laughs> he said, this is a hit. And we're like, I don't think so. How long did it take from studio to release to it, you know, really getting a claim? Well, we did it in July of 67. And then they released it in September. Okay, but it didn't catch on nationally. It started catching on in different regions. So it wasn't, it wasn't a all at once thing. It just kept popping up here, popping up there. So then we'd go tour that area and then start to cool down another area. The song lasted, I mean, for a couple of years for us touring on it. What was it like back then? I mean, it, it, you know, did you have a private plane and uh, did you have a rider where you wouldn't eat, you know, green M&Ms or, you know, <laughs> it was very glamorous. No, no, we, uh, you know, we, we traveled in a, a van. Can you imagine that today? We had all of our equipment in a little van and us. Gina, your pipes are absolutely amazing. Thank you. When I, I mean, Pat Benatar, <laughs> you know, she's so operatic, and you nail it. And honestly, you hit the same pitch as Steve Perry. Yeah. I mean, have you always been a great singer? When did you develop your talent? You are so great. Stop. You are. Um, you know, in the basement with the hairbrush to Donna Summer. Honest, That's what happens. Bad and girl. Bad girl. <laughs> Dim all the lights. Yes. Hot stuff. So Larry, as the rhythm guitarist, does Gene ever let you, you know, take the lead? Twice. <laughs> How long have you been with the band? Uh, a little over two years, I think. Um, do you do you enjoy playing out? I mean, do you uh, really like the gigs? Yeah, uh, it's in my old band. We used to play out in the New Year's Eve. We did work like '80s, '90s, and a lot of oldies, the uh, Ham Vets, Elk Eagles, you know, Class yeah. Reunion and stuff like that. And so, what what do you like to listen to? Uh, I like jazz fusion. I like uh, stuff like uh, Chicago, Boston, uh, Aerosmith, Journey, Little Van Halen. How did you and Ting hook up? I was playing in another band. Uh, it was called Rare Breed. We were more of a southern rock band. And I was playing out one night, and uh, I got a phone call the next day. And it was from, actually, Paul Byers called Yeah. Me. He was in there. And uh, he said, hey, we want to know if you want to come try it for the human beings. Back then, I didn't know who the human beings were, honest to God, you know. And uh, so I wrote it down. And then uh, I left, and my brother come in the house, and he goes, 
hey, Dad, who's, who's the human beings? He goes, they called Ronnie. He goes, what did Ronnie say? He goes, he called him back. He goes, you get a hold of him right now and tell him to call them back. And he says, yes. Yeah. Now, Gene, you started also back in the late 80s when I first met you back on Web Road. Oh, yes. Uh, with the human being. Yes. It was, uh, I think I met up with Tang and started working with him and getting involved in the human beings. Probably about 84, which was a few years before that, we came to the studio and did the interview with you and when we were back releasing uh, Rockin' Cities. When did you pick up a guitar? I was 10 years old. I was living in Youngstown and I was listening to an album and it was an early Santana album and it was a song called Singing Winds and Crying Beats and I heard Santana do that crazy sustain. But at that time though, my parents being old fashioned, I was taking piano lessons. They wanted me to play piano. When I heard that, I had to inform my mom and dad, guess what, I want to play <laughs> guitar. And they did not like it. This band is good. I, I, uh, I, I'm, they're kind enough to tell me that if I need a band, you know, if say something comes up like I'm saying they are uh, a picnic or something where they have a bunch of groups or whatever, and if they are, they're always asking me if I want to do something. So they said they'll do it for me. Wherever the source is, if I'm in town, I'll be there. Casey Malone Show is sponsored in part by Denise and John York and the DeBartlow Corporation.